Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are going to extend our VPC module, which we created in our last video. So now what we are going to do is we are going to create another module called something like EC2 or anything. And we are going to create basically an EC2 instance using that module in our VPC. So the VPC will create using the VPC module and EC2 instance will create an EC2 module. And I'll show you how you can use variables from one module into another module right so let's go to our console so this is where we are so if i do an ls hyphen lrt so we created one module which is vpc module right so the way you basically expose your variables from one module to another module is by using uh, uh, something called outputs right so let's go to vpc module Let's do an ls. So we created two files main.tf and variables.tf. So let's just cat them out and see what's inside them. So in this I had a basic definition of creating VPC, one private subnet, one public subnet. And here we have defined some variables, right? Now I'm going to create another file called outputs.tf. And this will basically contain all my outputs, right? So what exactly I'm going to expose is probably the private subnet ID and the public subnet ID. So we'll just create two outputs, right? So let's go inside output. Uh, let's call it private ID. and value would be equal to aws underscore subnet dot private underscore subnet dot id so this is one let's output our public subnet else also as public id Let's give it a value AWS underscore subnet dot public underscore subnet dot ID. So all this is basically coming from our resource definition. So if I go back, let me just save this. And if you see here, the subnet definition so we have defined private subnet and public subnet right so let's just cat out our outputs.tf file also so what i've done is i've done taken aws subnet which is the resource then the identifier for that resource so this is the identifier for that resource and i want the id of so this is a terraform function basically so i want the id of this resource and this is i'm actually saving in a variable you can call it private ID or you can call it anything right and public ID so this is the concept now let me clear the screen and come one directory up and now I'm going to create another directory called say EC or compute so this will be my compute module right so let's go inside compute so we are going to create main.tf file and the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the resource or rather the module the VPC module into this uh, particular module so the way to do it basically is using the keyword module similarly like you do on the main.tf file outside of everything similarly we are going to do it over here as well. so module vpc underscore module this can be anything because this is just an identifier right and source would be equal to so i think it is in current let's get the source first so a directory up we go a directory up and Okay, so 
let's give it the complete path of this module right and that's it now let's come down here and define our resources so since this is going to create an ec2 instance so resource aws underscore instance my ec2 and this is going to take parameters like ami so ami will be var dot ami so i have not defined this ami variable yet so we'll do that and the next thing it takes is instance size so that will again come from a variable var dot say instance underscore size and to launch this instance into our vpc which we create which we will create using our vpc model uh, module so this will come uh, into subnet underscore id will be equal to module dot vpc underscore module dot private id i hope this makes sense right so uh, i think i have not made any syntactical error or any logical error for that matter so we are calling a module keyword then we are referring to this vpc module which we have actually included in our current module and this is the variable where we have stored the private subnet id right so i want this instance to be launched into this particular subnet right and that's pretty much it that's all we need over here let's save this and let's create a variables.tf file and inside this we are going to give variable ami default so let's get an ami id systems and this is the ami id which i'm going to use back here and the other variable was instance size i'm very bad remembering things instance underscore size and default would be equal to t2.micro this is a free tier account right i think yeah this is pretty much it these are the two variables which we had so let's just cat out all the files just to be sure that we have not let's cat out main.tf output so there's no output sorry variable cat out variables.tf so let's see so we have included this module da, 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 da. define a resource define the subnet id and then for ami we have passed this and for instance size instance underscore size we have passed this all right so everything looks good let's go back to where our main.tf file is and so let's go inside our main.tf file and let's do shift g o so we are going to define a new module you can name it anything i'll just name it compute for simplicity and source would be same as this one just that it will be compute I got the spelling wrong compute and mind you this name has nothing to do with this name so you can have a different name over here and you can have a different name this is just an identifier right so just keep that in mind because if you see here I have defined identifier as my module 
but the actual name of the module was VPC module, right? So this, I'm just doing this for simplicity because this is my compute module. So I just named it compute module, right? Compute. Save this. Just to be sure, I've named it compute over here. Okay. So everything pretty much looks okay now. So let's do a Terraform in it because we have created a new module right successfully initialized terraform plan and we have some error so this says on main.tf resource database instance instance type oh, 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 oh okay that's so that's that's what i was telling i'm not very good at remembering so let's go to modules compute main.tf and this is not instance size this is instance type sorry for that let's do plan again and see all right so it has created a plan now what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply this plan and see if it's everything is working as by design i mean what whatever we've designed if that is working correctly or not all right so it has started creating something you can see so here and since we have declared outputs you would see that it would output things right so this is another one subnet id so these are my subnets basically you can see that and now it's creating my instance so let's go to our aws console go back to ec2 So it, there it is. So I have some since let's just filter out by instance state running. So we we'll have only one instance. All right. So this is the instance, and this is created in this particular VPC, which I hope is created by my module. And this is the subnet 030. So if we go back here can see the private subnet ID is 030 so correct so this all right Terraform has finished uh, creating uh, applying the changes so let's go to this VPC and see what's the CIDR for this VPC it should be something like 10.0.0.0/16 all right so I only have one VPC right now so I've deleted okay no I have one more VPC all right whatever so this is the vpc which got actually created 670 just keep verifying from uh, your plan basically right so this is the vpc where our instance is actually running right so yeah this is how basically you uh, use resources from one module into another module so we created one module for creation of a vpc now we have created another module to basically launch our compute resources so this has actually helped us a lot right you can see because in our main.tf file i've just included the module right nothing else if i wanted i could have uh, passed the ami id any ami id which i would have wanted or the instance type not the instance size right instance type so because i had those two variables defined in my module right so th by this way you can actually make your terraform uh, architecture very parameterized right so you can have a lot of parameters because while creating vpc or ec2 instance there are a lot of parameters that goes in we have done a very simple one but you can parameterize a lot right so you can use this module so you just have to write the code once in those modules and you can use these modules anywhere anytime you want 
all right so this is it for this video guys i hope you liked the video i hope it taught you something new and yeah please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching